Patience with Yourself, Evelyn Underhill. Patience with ourselves is a duty for Christians and the only real humility, for it means patience with a growing creature whom God has taken in hand and whose completion he will effect in his own time and in his own way. Rest in the Lord, wait patiently on him, and he shall give thee thy heart's desire. The more central this thought becomes, the less difficult you will find its outward expression. That is to say, long suffering and gentleness and all the and all the encounters of everyday life. It is not always easy to entertain that pair of heavenly twins properly. In fact, we can hardly manage it at all without the help of the spirit and constant resort to prayer. Yet even from the most practical point of view, long suffering as is essential, a factor in the art of living as in the art of prayer, the constant tension of resisting this, grasping that, pressing forward, never relaxing, never lying quiet on the waves, destroys the strongest in the end and wastes precious energy all the time. On every level of life, from housework to heights of prayer, in all judgment and all forts to get things done, hurry and impatience are sure marks of the amateur. A great artist treats his material with gentleness, reverence, and is always ready to wait. The great teacher never drives or hustles the pupil. The great climber waits till conditions are suitable before trying the awkward traverse. All, all these accept conditions and conform to them. So too must we do in the spiritual life. It is God who gives the conditions. Our part is to accept them with humility and cultivate the quiet spirit of acceptance. To a judge, pardon me, to adjust our will to his great rhythm and not waste the strength he has given us in fighting against the stream. In the midst of the waters, I shall be with thee. The fruits of the spirit. <laughs>